Like most people, you probably have a family member, friend, or neighbor who lives in a long-term care facility. These aging men and women deserve to be protected and cared for, but policymakers must be sure that, in shielding residents from harm, they don't unintentionally disrupt their care. One especially challenging issue is which medications it's appropriate for residents to take long-term. In recent years, debate erupted around the issue of medications called psychotropics, which alter emotions or behavior. Certain psychotropic medications like antipsychotics treat mental illness, but in some cases they were being misused to make residents in long-term care facilities easier to manage, resulting in serious harm to some residents. In response, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services issued a rule designed to protect residents. The rule requires long-term care facilities to gradually reduce the dose of psychotropic medications. Regulators acted responsibly, but they overlooked one important point. Dose reduction isn't appropriate for all long-term care residents or for all psychotropic medications. Some patients need these medications on an ongoing basis. Patients who suffer from psychosis related to Parkinson's disease, for example, are patients with a condition called pseudobulbar effect, which causes uncontrollable laughing or crying. Regulators updated their rule to acknowledge the needs of some patients with certain conditions, but confusion remains. Some facilities concerned about negative perceptions or repercussions may force reductions of all psychotropics anyway, even when the medication is needed. For patients to access the treatment they need, regulators should clarify gradual dose reduction requirements. That will help regulators, healthcare providers, and long-term care facilities protect residents' well-being without disrupting their health care.